Have you stumbled upon this video and are you looking to get familiar with the Arc Dev Kit? Well, you're in the right place. Pay close attention to the following steps. Download the Arc Dev Kit. Play the Arc Dev Kit. Get a GitHub account and an Unreal account. Link your GitHub account on Unreal. Paste the GitHub stuff in your Arc, Common, Steam, Stuff, Engine, Binaries, Windows 64. Paste it. Boom. Done. Play the game gonna land in Unreal, see you there. So once you've actually gotten into the Unreal Engine, you're gonna find yourself in a scene similar like this. Here in the middle you have your 3D view. This will be your scene outliner. These are all your objects currently within the 3D scene, or your whole scene. Details are the properties of the object that you currently have selected. As you can see when I'm selecting different stuff, different information will be displayed here. The content browser is all the information that your project contains, so it contains map info, uh, assets, textures, uh, animations, everything. Here at the top are modes. You can add certain stuff, for such as the landscape, foliage, you can add a geometry, which is a basic shape, such as these BSP stuff. Uh, BSP brushes and you can add other stuff like volumes um, you can also check out all the classes but that's not necessary so that is basically it for now next up we're gonna uh, look on how to create a terrain we're gonna add the essentials such as the weather and other stuff that is really important for you to actually be able to run the map then we're gonna add water add some trees bushes and rocks add a cluster layer then we're going to uh, add some dinos into our map because we're obviously going to need those and then we're going to add biome zones so you can define where the player is in which uh, part of the map if you want to um, check out the actual map um, so the island the big island you can go to uh, your game maps uh, the island sub maps scroll all the way down or almost down to the bottom and it should say the island over there um, loading it up can take a really long time so be careful uh, when you actually want to do it, it can take up to 40 minutes of loading time and then your map is only loaded and it still has to compile a really big amount of shaders, about 22,000, so be careful with that if you want to actually do it, but anyways, um, see you guys in the next uh, video.